uh, Secular Sekai is saying, could you please discuss and compare Indian Charvaka, Charvaka, yes, and Greek uh, Epicureanism? In your opinions, could could one call these ancient philosophers early er, early forms of humanism? Okay, so I'm gonna um, base this based on the very little information that I have of these two things, and you guys could correct me in the live chat if I am if I'm wrong. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on the live chat to see what you guys think as well. Okay, my very basic understanding of Indian Sharv Sharvaka is like that there was a this is an atheistic, this is an ancient, materialistic, atheistic um, school of thought in India, okay? Um, however, I also know that, if I'm correct, like, correct me if I'm wrong, that we don't know much about them directly because most of the, I think all of the information we have of them is of other people writing about them and um, when they were writing about them, they weren't being very kind to them, like they were attacking them. So we don't know how accurate the description of these people were, right? So, but if we just assume that, so like they were, they were portrayed as being very full of themselves, very like selfish, um, right? Very like egoistic. I'm not sure exactly. I don't remember the details, but I don't know if we could know exactly what they stood for, given that we don't have much of information about them. Again, this is uh, what I've read. Maybe this is information is correct. However, if we just assume that they were atheistic and materialistic, um, I, I know they were kind of like, seemed like hedonistic and utilitarian as, to, to some extent. Um, so in that sense, maybe you could call them humanists because they didn't, they cared more about um, taking care of us humans rather than these religious mumbo jumbo. So maybe in that sense, you could call them humanists. Let me see what you guys are saying. If you're correcting me about this. Oh, Secular Shekha is saying, Armin gives great analysis on topics, always an interesting listen. Oh, thank you. Wait, I should keep this highlighted. Um, Jack saying, okay, no. Aksumar is saying, I don't understand Charvaka obsession. Char Charvaka, I don't even know if I'm reading this right, are deeply flawed as a philosophy. They are on a revival because they seem uh, cool to modern Hindutva and socialists. Okay, so Aksumar, and I like, I don't know how flawed can they be because. My understanding is that the writings that we have about Sharvaka is like by people who hated them. So we don't know if they were flawed or they, if they were just portrayed like that. Uh, Secular Sekai is saying Sharvaka, Sharvaka is kind of philosophical atheism, materialism. Yeah, well, I haven't gotten into Epicureanism yet. Um, okay, so. So nobody is contesting what I said about Sharvaka. Okay, so let me, and also a Greek Epicureanism. Um, yeah, by the way, Epicureanists were hated by the Stoics <laughs> just to, because Epicureanism is the first, I think it would be more accurate to say Epicureanism is, the, is an early form of utilitarianism, okay? And you could see why Stoics would be against you, you, Epicureanism, because uh, Stoics were into virtue ethics, right? So you could see from early ancient philosophy the battle between utilitarians and virtue ethicists against each other. You see that in the form of Stoics versus Epicureans. I know, like, yes, my, you know, the utilitarianism of John Stuart Mill is a lot more advanced than what Epicurean uh, Epicureanism is re represents, right? But still, I think that's an error, that's what would be a more accurate way of describing Epicureanism. But again, utilitarianism as as a as a whole could be considered humanist because what does utilitarianism try to do? Utilitarianism is trying to improve uh, the well being of humans, right? So technically, yes, you're right. Epicureanism is an early form of humanism because it's an early form of utilitarianism, and utilitarianism cares for the utility of humans so yeah i think it would be it would be fair to say that about the epicureanism in my opinion i don't know i don't know much about sharvak 
the Sharvaka, if that would be a form of humanism. I would think like you could also say Sharvaka is an also uh, inner form of humanism because if it's if 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 it is a philosophical school of thought that doesn't care about like the afterlife and the superstition and the supernatural and all of that, then I would assume their focus would be on improving this life, which we human live in and improving the well-being of us right now. So in that sense, if that is what it's focusing on, then it will also be, it would be fair to say it's, um, it's an early form of humanism. Does that, does that make sense? Um, the ox oxymoron is saying Sharvaka were bold but not intelligent. They reject the inf inference uh, with incompatible with modern science and hermeneutics. Other philosophies were much more interesting. It's not coherent philosophy. Okay, I don't know these details about them. And I don't know if what you're saying is accurate because, again, how do you know this about them? They don't have, they didn't left much writing of themselves, did they? This, like, we know what we know about them is what other people wrote about them, right? So maybe the inconsistencies you see in their philosophy is because of how they were described, not exactly what they said. That's my understanding. That's what I read. Maybe what I read was incorrect. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.